What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in for another video. Really appreciate it. This is the Let's Work channel. Me and you make the Let's and the video. That's the work. You know what I'm saying? Today, we're going to react to MGTOW moments. Shout out to MGTOW moments. Really appreciate the videos. I hope he doesn't mind. You know, I'll put a link in the description for his channel. You know, I'm just going to react to it. He makes compilation videos, and I'm just going to just react to, you know, the clips and stuff like that. I love this content. Go subscribe to him when you get the chance. Anyway, today's uh, uh, compilation is number 62. So let's get into it. So you broke up with your boyfriend? Yeah. So who cheated on who? Come on, bro. It's pretty obvious. He cheated on her. What do you mean? Come on, everybody knows. Five people don't cheat. They're bigger than that. <laughs> that one there was a violation. Trust me, I wouldn't have been. My friends have asked me before to see how do I know if she's the one? It's very simple. Cheat on her. If you feel bad afterwards, then she was the one, and if you don't feel bad, she wasn't. Just make sure you repeat that every month to make sure the love stays alive. Glad I didn't have that problem. How do I get over my wife leaving me? Man, I miss her. Hmm. Hmm. That's sad, you know, a little little bit. You may feel sorry for him, but you know, you know what I'm saying? I wish him the best. You know what I'm saying? Move on, pussy. If you cry about her, she wins twice. Damn to you. Hmm. Just not to my standards, so it's like, okay, you're not gonna be there. I'm gonna make you be there. What, 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 do you mean, what do you mean they're not to your standard? What does that mean? I'm in college. I go to Penn State. They're not in college. They're in the block. I live in a high rise apartment. Hold on. Time out. Time out. I get it. I get it. You got stuff. Mm -hmm. We're all in the bag of chips. Got it. But what I'm trying to understand is a, ma a father who can provide an income for his daughter to have a, a, a weekly allowance. Mm -hmm. You go to one of the best colleges in the country. Why the French toast are you dealing with niggas on the block? It's where I grew up. And Message. Message. I don't, I don't care. care. I don't care. I don't care. Why young girls always laying down in the blankets? Why is that? They always laying down in the blankets. In a room under the covers. Why is that? Why, why they never out? You know what I'm saying? Why the chicks is always just laying down, just chilling, just like laying down, all comfortable. Never outside working. You know what I'm saying? Always in the house. What does that mean? That's when you grew up. Well, then leave Penn State, carry your ass back to the block, get off your daddy's payroll, and then go live in, the, in Section Eight. How about that? I don't want to. There you go. Sent him a nude and he left me on red. Look at her face. This is so funny to me because I've done this before. Oh my god. You want to fuck with a girl's ego? Have her send you a nude and don't necessarily not reply. What did I do? I didn't acknowledge it. So she sent me a nude and I didn't acknowledge it. And I talked about something totally different. Pretty pissed off and started yelling and cursing, and I hung up on her and I didn't speak to her until like the next day. And um, she apologized. And I said, What did I do to deserve that yelling and cursing? He was like, You know, I sent you the sexy picture. And, no, it's a lovely picture. It's just that, you know, I just wasn't focused on that at the moment. Yeah. And then she went on and complained about how she took her time out to take that picture, and she took so many and took the right time to choose it. But this girl was super cocky. I had to bring down. <laughs> what I've learned from being retarded, F boy, committed long term, and FWB. Don't let girls call you F boys. You know what I'm saying? Girls like to do that, call you F boys, man. That's just a label that they try to give you, man. Don't 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 let them put labels on you, man. You know what I'm saying? 
You was just out there in the streets. A female will be bawling her eyes out and still lie straight to your face. Your face. Yo. Yo face. Not your. Yo. You know what I'm saying? This guy's been watching a lot of, uh, what's that? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, whoever she was before y'all got together, she will always be. Her actions may take a break. But her mindset would always be the same. My thing is like, so what? You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's dropping knowledge. Maybe that's what it is. But maybe, I don't know. I'm looking at his face and he's, why he looks salty though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Is it just me? Maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know. It just looks like he's like invested a lot in what, whoever this person is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe it's just me. Maybe he's trying to look cool, I guess. You never the only one, I promise you. Damn. It's only your turn. <laughs> if you don't find anything in her phone, trust me, she already deleted it. Don't be going through girls' phone, man. Don't be doing that. Leave it. Let her go. Let her be free. You know what I'm saying? Let her do her thing. You know what I'm saying? And you should be doing your thing. You should be doing your thing too. You know what I mean? She only loves what you provide, not you. Okay. I wish you well, brother, man. Women have normalized a rejecting man because he don't have much money or a special car. As a man, you should also normalize rejecting a woman because she had a kid by another dude. It's deep. Oh, yeah, I seen that girl. Fly me out, girl. What's up, girl? What's up? I'll fly you out. Yeah, I'll give you two coach two coach bus passes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'll give you, I'll send you a Metro card. You know what I'm saying? Come, yeah, come through. Yeah. In the most respectful manner. <clears throat> um, <without> the- <laughs> he said, <clears throat> he cleared his throat. social media right because they see these beautiful girls that are nines and tens right or even if they're eights or sevens they have the body to make up for it so you see this girl right here right she's getting caught up in a delusion and i blame social media why because even though that girl may be a four and looks a solid four i would never give her more than a five uh there are probably guys that would have sex with anything in the world for guys that would have sex with a cow right so then you see a girl like that and she probably has her dms probably filled up to the team with desperate needy simps, right? And then she's looking at these beautiful girls, the nines and tens on Instagram and getting confused and thinking that's her. And it's like the audacity you to even talk like in the world of simping. I'll fly you out, girl, man. Does that give you a metro car? Yeah, it does. Like, really tall guys. Like, so does height matter on a guy? Yeah, it does. Like, really tall guys. Like, how tall? Like, 6'10". 6'10"? Bro, she's capping. 6'10? 6'10? 
Bro, I think I would have hit her on the head with the mic. 6'10". 6'10". How many people, how many 6'10s you just walk by on a regular basis? 6'10"? I don't even know, I don't even know what 6'10 would look like, to be honest. I don't even know how to measure that compared to me. 6'10". That's crazy. So they got to be like NBA? Something like that, yeah. All right, all right. What about you? Are the guys that are 6'6". Six, 6'6"? Six. Six, six? Yo! It's crazy, bro. What is going on? Bro. What do they, what do they think they're going to find these guys? Where are these guys? Where are these first round draft picks at Walmart? What? So all tall guys only. Yeah, no short guys? Like, no, no short guys. They don't even have an opportunity to like slide in DMs? No, that's not in my options. Okay, okay. That's not in my options. Bruh. And you know what's funny? This girl, they're young. they like... I would say maybe 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? They're young. 10 years, they come. I mean, listen, I'll take, I'll take whatever. <laughs> 10 years, listen, that he could be a dwarf. I don't give a damn. I'll take whatevs. <laughs> um, excuse me, there is no reason to be upset over women. She didn't compliment the new shoes you bought? Don't us. She didn't kiss you before she left for work this morning? Don't us. She didn't buy you flowers because you had a hard day at work today? Don't us. She didn't randomly text you today saying she missed you? Don't us. She doesn't bring you an ice cold beer in the shower every night? Don't us. She doesn't tell you at least once a week that you're the best thing that ever happened to her? Don't us. She doesn't welcome you when you get home with a nice warm hug and a kiss on the cheek? Don't us. Just because you're a guy doesn't mean you don't deserve to be loved. Make sure you find the person who loves you unconditionally. Okay, bye! Oh yeah. There's no such thing as unconditional love from a woman. There's no such thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't let these girls fool you. They get the funny animation voices and they try to drop the gems at the end. Don't take their there's no such thing as unconditional love from a woman. It's all about what you can provide for her, you know what I'm saying? trust issues anymore but shit like this that makes me want to text my girl after i'm done recording this and ask her what she's doing like he really went to sleep thinking that she was going to be asleep when in reality she was about to get her cheeks clapped something fierce okay just leave okay i don't know if anybody understands this when you get cheated on it really fucks with your mental like you turn into a different person altogether. like it's not a funny thing to go through and to the 17 000 people that like that video i hope each and every one of you guys gets cheated on like, I hope you guys are in love and you get cheated on. Because that shit's not funny. And so, girl, recording this, same thing. The thing about girls cheating is that a girl is not going to cheat on you unless she feels like she could get away with it. Unless she just lost respect for you. She just feel like it's okay. She doesn't feel anything. You know what I'm saying? So, she just feels like you're going to stay. She knows you're going to stay. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, a kid jumping on a bed. He knows he's going to get away with it. He's going to do it. But if he knows he's going to get his ass whooped by Big Papa Bear coming in with three belts, he's going to not even touch the bed. Matter of fact, he might make the bed every two hours. You know what I'm saying? It's not a game. So people know what they could get away with. They're not dumb. You know what I'm saying? You're completely right and nothing but right, and that's the sad effing truth. You could put months slash years into someone for none. It's the day you will be free. Women are literally hardwired. And I'm saying this shit because watching that new video, just like, 
it was like, holy shit. We, women are designed by nature to do what's best for their offspring. So that means she can love you today and tomorrow not give a fuck about you. And guess what? She won't toss and turn in the bed at night. She's going to be <sighs> sleeping good. They won't lose a wink of sleep. They are designed that way to do what's best for them. The day you accept it, you're going to have a wonderful life, bro. You know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers just need to stop living in la-la land, in fairytale land, and think that this love shit is forever. And she can't love you. It's okay. I don't care for it. I just accept it. Red pill truth bomb. The most disrespectful thing a black woman ever said to you. That I wasn't shit. I wasn't doing nothing with my life. I was a little last boy. She would never date me because she could always find better. My dick was small. God damn. This is a little de- No, this is a little depressing. I'm like, I gotta admit. Come on now. Cause he's so hurt. It looked like he's so hurt. You know what I'm saying? Still. Damn. Have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Man, take care, man. I hope, I hope, I hope you're well, man. Take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You also bring a job, a house, a car, your social status. You need these things to live. You have 60 years of productivity. From the age of 15 to the age of 75. You make money like a motherfucker. You're productive. If your strength starts to fail you, your intelligence takes over. Right? That's how it works as a man. It's your brains in conjunction with your body, your strength, that makes you so valuable at your job and creates social status, acceptance. Right? And all of these things over here is what women want from you. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Red Pill Freedom, man. I like that. I like that name and I like the I like the content. That was really good. Thanks, brother. When you see her with a major downgrade after y'all break up. Bro, stop clocking these girls, man. Let them little oh, dude, my chick of F the Rock. Trey songs, Michael B. Jordan, and Lil Wayne, and they could be making a track while they do it. Seriously, toss her to the everywhere, toss her to the team. Everybody ran through. Everybody penetrating six tens and six sixes, like the girls was talking about. I don't give a damn. This right here, this this right here is supposed to be depressing, but I want guys to know, <clears throat> girls, most girls won't approach, but they always looking. You get what I'm saying? So what people say, choosing signals, those choosing signals, you could do that if you don't like approaching, you know, but the girl... She's just not, that's not hard. She's not going to approach like that. You can't wait for the girl to approach, if that's what you want. If you, like, see a girl, you know you can't wait for her to approach. If you want to approach, approach that girl, you know. But they're hardwired. They're going to choose. They're going to look around. But you can see from their eye contact, and you can see if they're choosing you, you could go from there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want, because this is kind of depressing. Like some of these things are depressing. You could tell, man, God damn, man. The sense of humor. My man just got in the house all alone looking into the camera. If she doesn't want to link you, she's not interested in you. Eh, okay. Girls have options. 
more options than us yeah i guess so so what those options are not really the, the options that they want too so don't get fooled about those options either they only girls kind of like only count the alpha chads and the tyrones to be honest they don't count the other guys you know what i'm saying Stereotypical high school jock in a movie. Or when guys say, Oh, if a guy ever walked up to my girl while I'm standing there, I would punch him in the face. I'm so sick of seeing guys lose opportunities with women that they didn't have to lose simply because they refuse to see dating from the perspective of a woman. They refuse to see why women find other things attractive. You think, I'm a man, I have to do things this way, and I have to see attraction this way, and I have to, you have to be rigidly manly. Don't get me wrong, it's very important to be grounded in your masculinity. But you're not grounded in shit if you're too scared to look outside of your own identity. That's why I don't really identify as a red pill, because so many guys in the red pill community are the type of guy I'm talking about. You're too identified with what you think you're supposed to be, with the way in which you think you're supposed to think. You're like a car company that refuses to release a new model despite being decades old. And again, don't take this personally, because I don't know you, obviously. But if you can't learn to step outside of your own identity, you're not going to go anywhere. Listen, I identify with the red pill. I identify and identify with MGTOW. What? Nobody wants to claim it. I'll be the only one. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? You got to be sure. I, I identify with it. Just because I identify it doesn't mean that I'm totally it 100%. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that all right that's it that's all the video man uh i appreciate you guys for watching thus far go to make town and subscribe to him uh subscribe to the channel we're gonna be posting more videos soon comment like subscribe really appreciate you guys for coming by and let me know what you guys think you know what i'm saying uh i'm gonna keep it up i love the make the stuff and the reaction stuff is great it's great to see like uh you know like a little community and uh, i'm grateful to be a part of it and uh, thank you guys for joining me Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. One, one, one out. Peace.